I am creating a series of videos about how to build your self-confidence. If you haven't watched my previous videos, make sure after you get done with this video that you go back and watch those too. If you have low confidence or low self-esteem, make sure you watch this full video. I'm going to share five important tips with you. So stay tuned. Tip number one, do your best. Whatever it is that you're doing, the main thing is to do your best. When you know that you are doing your best, then you shouldn't be hard on yourself. For example, I lead praise and worship at my church and I am also the musician there and I have been doing it full time for three years now. When I first started, I used to be a little hard on myself whenever I would make a mistake. And so what I had to learn is to do my best and doing my best was not just to wish and hope that when it's time for me to lead praise and worship or play a new song that I don't mess up. I had to practice. I noticed that the more I practiced, the more comfortable I became and I had more chance of an outcome of not messing up. The main thing is that long as you know that you are doing your best and you are putting the time in that you need to become better at something, then don't be hard on yourself. Tip number two, encourage yourself. Sometime in life, you're going to need encouragement, especially when you get ready to learn something new. It's easy to feel intimidated or feel that it's going to be hard for you to catch on or that you can't learn it. But the best thing you can do for yourself whenever you feel overwhelmed or feel like that you're having a hard time learning something, encourage yourself. Encourage yourself and let yourself know that you can do it the same way someone else learned how to do it, you can do it too. And it doesn't matter what your age is, whether you are young, middle age, or older, you still can do it. I noticed one thing about myself, it comes naturally for me to encourage someone else and I enjoy doing it. But I had to teach myself how to encourage myself as well, especially when I'm learning something that's challenging to let myself know that you're going to learn it and you're going to be great at it. Tip number three, improve yourself. No matter what age you are, every so often you want to improve yourself. Life is all about learning. And no matter how old you get, you should never stop learning. Improving yourself helps you to feel more confident. And you can improve yourself by just reading. The more you read, the more you're going to learn. Reading helps your brain and it also helps your imagination. Reading even helps build your vocabulary and it also helps with spelling. So every so often throughout the week, pick up you a book or just read a short article. It don't have to be a whole chapter, just a couple of sentences a day. Improving yourself also has to do with being kind to yourself. Sometimes we're not kind to ourselves by just the way that we think about ourselves, by just the way that we talk to ourselves. And all of that is important because the way that you think and feel and even talk to yourself, it kind of manifests itself in your life, in your reactions. So be kind to yourself. Learn a new skill. Learning a new skill helps you to feel more confident because it's something about each time you learn something new, it helps you feel more confident the next time you get ready to learn something else. It does help boost your self-esteem. Tip number four, be nice to others. When you are nice to others, it helps you to feel good about yourself. And also, too, when you are nice to others, people are nice to you. You reap what you sow. You get back what you put out. And I am a witness of that. 
I seldom help people to be mean to me, to be disrespectful to me. And I know it's only because I try to treat people the way that I want to be treated. It is very important to me to be treated with love and respect. So I give others love and respect in return. Tip number five, surround yourself with people that make you feel good. That is very important. Sometimes we can be hanging around people and not realizing that they are one of the main reasons why we feel the way we do about ourselves. So watch the company that you keep. And I know it's going to be very hard if it's a loved one. It could be your spouse. It could be a sibling or even your best friend. So the main thing is that if it's someone that's some kin to you, I know it's going to be really hard and kind of like impossible to just cut them off. But it's just one of those things to where you want to guard your heart when you are around them and make sure that you're not taking in negativity from them or believing some of the things that they are saying about you is true. Notice those things. And I have learned to whenever someone tells me something about myself and I know it's not true, I don't receive it. I just block it out. And sometimes that's what you have to do. And another thing too, if it's a family member, you can try not to be around that person or talk to them as often because you don't want to deal with that negative energy all the time. So you may wonder, how can I surround myself with people that make me feel good? One thing that you can do now, you can go on Facebook and find a Facebook group that that's very positive. And one of them is Chat with Flow. <laughs> On Chat with Flow, I only post positive things, things that's going to help you as an individual, nothing negative. So if you want to find a community of positive people, join my Facebook group. I have a question for you. Out of the five tips that I shared, which tip did you like the best? If you like my message and you want to support me, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Thank you for tuning in and make sure to stay tuned for the next upload of how to build your self-confidence. Bye.